Hi everybody, this is another TFR drone video and this video is going to be uh, my first video and first flight of my Eagle 650XA uh, quadcopter or autoquad, whatever you want to call it, okay? This particular aircraft is manufactured by the Chinese company JetFun and this particular model is not that popular. The the one that's really popular and it's really similar to this aircraft is the Scorpion 650 that you can find it on eBay um, sold as a jet phone or you can see it on the uh, Hobby King website and it's sold under the Hobby King uh, brand and that has a similar canopy like this one. The only difference is that one is a white 6. This one is a quad cutter that can be uh that can be flown as a quad cutter with four uh large up running motors you can use like pancake motors or you can use uh 20 or 28 14 uh, motors with 12 inch props okay that's one of the ways you can fly or if you want to fly as a xa like the way i got it set up right now um according to the factory specifications uh you got to put a uh, 20 to 12 motors uh, with 10 inch props and they have to be around you know you know 900 to 1000 kvs now um there's not that many videos of this aircraft in youtube but the most famous video of this aircraft is from ali shamal and as far as i know he just made one video but his setup was as a quad cutter he had like four uh, pancake motors in there with low KVs and I think he was using 12 inch props I'm not sure about the battery he was using I don't know if he was using uh, 4S or 3S or about the size of the battery but I mean it was a pretty nice video now it's an old video by the time he posted that video uh, back then the NASA um, there was no GPS for the NASA so when you were buying a NASA back then it was just a flight controller there was no GPS if you wanted GPS you were forced to buy you know like the Wukong and that was the way it used to be on that time but today it's different now you know the NASA got GPS and all the new upgrades that you can do in there okay so I'm going to talk about the specs of this aircraft and all the stuff that I got before I do the flight Okay, uh, for starters, the motors that I got, they are the Sonic Sky 2212-13, uh, 980 kVs. Okay, and this is a very, very uh, popular motor. And um, it's the, pretty much the design of the Tiger motors. Um, pretty much the same quality, but with a nice uh, other bonus that it costs you know half of what you pay for the tiger motor or maybe less than half okay um the props that i got over here um i was checking the specs of this motor on the sony sky website to find out what's the largest uh the the, the, the what kind of props i can mount on this particular motor and the largest one that allows me to mount is 11 inch props 11 by 4.5 so the props that i put over here they are the new uh, APC multi rotor motors, so the ones that they call APC MR, and these are uh, 11 by 4.5. And I got four in the top that they, they, they go counterclockwise, and I got four in the more in the bottom that they are uh, clockwise. These ones down here are the pushers, and these ones are the tractors over here on this, um, on this aircraft. Uh, the ESCs that I got here are the ready to fly quads and they are eight ESCs and they are 30 amps and these ones that I pick here are the red ones and they are um, DJI style as you can see they don't have wires coming so you can just plug the motors straight into the ESCs um, the flight controller <laughs> don't don't get confused it's not a nasa light this is the old nasa and but if you guys uh remember about the old nasa the old nasa is meant to work only with six motors and not with eight motors but this particular nasa i did upgrade it with the uh, v2 
uh, firmware and once you upgrade this with a V2 firmware you can fly aircraft with A motors like a quadcopter with A motors and two styles of uh, uh, octocopters you know like an octocopter I and octocopter V okay so uh, that's the nice thing about the this NASA you can fly like that um, the NASA has a GPS and this GPS I put like a longer uh, carbon rod so in that way you know since, since this uh, as you can see you know the center of gravity of this aircraft this, this thing is not flat over here so um, you know like most uh, multicopters are so I want to put you know like a long you know um, uh, uh, carbon rod so in that way you know antenna can stick out and be more clear you know to get you know perfect satellite uh, uh, lock Okay, um, the receiver is the high tech Aurora 9, and pretty much all the channels are taken. Uh, I got uh, the five channels for flying, you know, four for flying, one for the flight mode, and the other one for the uh, IOC, Intelligent Orientation Control, or what all the people call the carefree. Uh, one channel, I got it with the loss alarm, this uh, back here. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's back there. And the uh, final channel is going to be to control the game ball because I'm going to put a I'm going to put a game ball over here. Or, well, for now, probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just like a, a GoPro, you know, fix uh, GoPro mount, and then I will get you know like a small brushless game ball like the ones that you will buy for the DJI Phantom, any of those optional game balls that you will see on the market. Um, as you can see. This is a lot of wires because it's a lot of motors and ESCs. So you need a, you know, heavy duty uh, power distribution board. The one that I'm using is the Skyrap. And this power distribution board, you know, uh, it's a really powerful one. It's meant to be used on aircraft even larger and more powerful than this one. And um, it can handle a lot of amperage and everything. And it got a lot of connecting ports. So that's why I put this uh, uh, power distribution board and it's uh, high quality and it's expensive too, it costs $30. When it comes to the ESCs, I have to uh, put these long wires from the power distribution board into the ESCs for the power and the ones for the that goes to the NASA, I have to put you know 9 inch extensions and uh, to make sure that extensions they don't come off, I put you know, a hitch ring to um, secure the, the 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 extensions into the connectors of the uh, 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 the ESCs, the servo connectors that goes from the ESC into the motors. Uh, the battery is a max amp, uh, 3S, 11,000 uh, uh, mini amps, and unfortunately, oh, this is the only battery, the only large battery that this aircraft takes. I would love to put something, you know, a little bit smaller and a little bit cheaper, you know, but this is all I can use. This battery, I purchased this one for my F-550, and my F-550 with all the FPV equipment mounted with this battery flies for 20 minutes. So, uh, I mean, right now I don't got no FPV equipment over here, but uh, hopefully I might do maybe 20 to 25 minutes with this one. I'm not sure. Let's see. Okay. Um... Now, uh, one thing about the construction of this aircraft is that this thing barely use any screws to build it. This thing is like a jigsaw puzzle, and you know, pretty much the only screws that you use is the, these ones for this standoff that I'm using over here to, for the landing gears. The other ones down here that they are, um, that hook the power distribution board into the frame, and the ones that hold the motors in place, and that's it. Pretty much the aircraft, you know, you go, you got like some uh, L-shaped hooks on the on the ladder frame, and they got these C-shaped uh, plugs that you put in there and you lock in place. And when it goes all the way in, they snap. But I noticed that some of them, you know, they were doing the snapping thing, and so why these all of them I glue them. You know, I put CA glue just to make sure that they don't come off in flight. Okay, so I already did the. Uh, the compass calibration so let's just proceed to fly okay okay so 
I acquired the satellite, so let me just proceed to take off. Wow, this thing is so freaking smooth. I'm gonna put it in GPS mode and see if it doesn't do the toilet bowl, but I guess it's gonna do it. Let's see. Yeah, it's doing it. And he's doing it. Uh, I mean, this aircraft, you know, I put, I did the measurements of the UPS to, in relation to the center of gravity of the aircraft and not to where the flight controller is mounted. So, I mean, right now, it just stopped. It just did it a little bit and I just stay there. Now I'm really amazed how quiet the freaking aircraft is. This thing is unfreaking believable. You know the motors from the factory they are really you know balanced you know by Sony Sky. Uh, when I did the, all the ESCs when I finished calibrating them I um, you know gave power to the to them to see how they, if I feel any vibrations on the frame, and I wasn't getting any, and that was very impressive, you know, for that, you know, feeling really how nice it worked. Now I gotta feel, wow, there's a lot of freaking wind underneath. This thing is crazy. I can complain. I mean, just like I say, you see a little bit of toilet water effect, and you just stop. Nice, just staying there, doing nothing. So I got two minutes and 23 seconds so far, and my throttle is just a tiny bit above, you know, halfway. I just want to put it halfway and see. Yeah, it's halfway right now. And the aircraft is just staying there, doing nothing, just holding. Okay, so let's just uh, uh, flying around. One nice thing about this aircraft is because of the canopy, you know, even if the whole aircraft is black, the cockpit, you know, helps, you know, with the orientation, just like an RC helicopter. So, you can tell with the front and with the back, and that's really cool. Now, I'm not that much of a line of sight pilot, you know, I mostly do FPV. But, you know, it's, the orientation is very helpful, you know, the way the, you know, tends to the cockpit. So that's really cool. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try uh, the ILC and see if it works property okay so I have to stay in front of the to that way you know the grid has to stay on that way you know no behind I have to make sure that I don't fly behind while I got my mat over there because that's where the aircraft was pointing that's where he memorized the um, you know the, the the compass position you know the that's where he memorized the IOC. So now I'm gonna go to uh, course lock. 
I'm across a lot right now. Yeah, it's working. I got the aircraft right now, the front of the aircraft is looking that way. But I gotta move the stick back and he's gonna come back. It's going back sideways. So the ISC is working the way it's supposed to be. Okay, now I'm gonna put the aircraft looking at me. And yeah, it's moving to the left. It's moving to the right. The IOC is working the way it's supposed to. That's really cool. Uh, the voltage right now is 11.1 .1 volts because I'm getting also telemetry uh, from my receiver. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna go back to normal again. Let me just try the loss alarm. Yeah, the loss alarm is working perfectly. Okay. Okay, now it's off. Now I'm just gonna just gonna send it a little bit far away because I'm gonna try home lock. All right. So I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna go to home lock now. Now, I'm gonna bring the stick back. I'm gonna put the aircraft looking to the side again towards the left. And I'm gonna bring the stick back. And he's supposed to fly like he was going towards the, the, the carpet over there because that's the home lock over there. I'm doing right now over six minutes of flying time. Home lock pretty much it worked the way it was supposed to. So now let me go back to let me just make the aircraft look towards the the way it's supposed to. Because I'm gonna try to return to home. Okay. Thing is off. And now it's going really high. Just want to make sure that he's clear of the trees. Okay, now I'm gonna put it in attitude mode and I'm gonna click return to home. I see return to home. I want to see what he's gonna do. Okay. He's coming back and he got his nose pointing towards the carpet. And uh, be careful because it's like 10 inches of snow over here and I don't want to fall with my radio on my hand. Okay, so it's now now flying on top of the, the rug and now he start coming down little by little. But I'm going to cancel it anyway. I'm not going to let them I'm not gonna let him now. It's going down. No, I'm trying to double the carpet. It was kind of there. All right, so let's cancel the return to home, and I'll put it back in GPS. It's back in GPS mode again. So I got control of the aircraft. Well, at least I know the return to home is working properly. And everything else yeah I guess the settings that I put over here that they are similar to the ones that I got on my 550 they are working good as well uh, the voltage right now is 10.8 volts yeah I got over nine minutes of flying time so far so I just hope I can do at least you know like you know 15 to 16 minutes that's gonna be good now let's talk about the FPV equipment that I'm planning to use over here. So the camera that I'm going to be using here is going to be the GoPro Hero uh, 3 Black Edition. 
the I'm gonna be using also OSD. I'm gonna put the Cyclops Breeze OSD, the first version, and the video transmitter. I'm gonna put a 2,000 mini watt video transmitter. So I'm gonna be using the the transmitter is compatible with FoxTech and it's uh, 2,000 mini watts. Uh, you can get them on eBay. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with FoxTech, uh, if you know how the 500 mini watt video transmitter looks like, this one is identical to the 500, but it's a 2,000. They made three versions of that same uh, design of video transmitter. They got the 500, that was the first one that came out, uh, that had a fan. They make the 2,000 and they make also 1,000 as well. And all three are compatible with uh, FoxTech. So that's the that's what's new right now. I just freaking impressed how freaking quiet this aircraft is. Even with the OA motors, you know, I was expecting to hear, you know, like a beehive. But I believe, you know, the what is helping this aircraft to be so quiet is the motors uh, and because they are balanced and uh, design, this new design of props that they are specific for multi-copters you know, it's not your typical APC prop now if I was flying my 450 that I got over there on my table probably would be a little bit more louder than this aircraft because of this, uh, it got uh, APC 9 by 4.7 and I guess those, that type of design prop, you know, it makes the aircraft louder. Let me just uh, make it hover over here. And I got, you know, I'm about to reach 12 minutes of flying time. I'm really curious too about, you know, how the motors are going to be. When, you know, the temperature of the motors. Once I'm done flying, the motors are overheating or they are flying, you know, cool. That's going to be very interesting about this aircraft. How the motors are going to hold. So one modification that probably I'm going to do with it because probably I'm going to be forced to because the, the, the this Max M battery that I got, I mean I know that will help me you know accomplish you know you know uh, decent flying time with this aircraft, but they are way too freaking expensive. And I was trying to find like equivalent of this battery. Uh, right now I'm going to 30 minutes of flying time. I was trying to find the equivalent of this battery, something like, uh, uh, you know, from Hobby King or any other company of size and weight and mini amps, but I can't get it anywhere. I mean, and this battery costs, you know, like $270 and that's with the shipping and everything. It's, you know, ridiculous, you know, the price of the battery. Right now, this is the only battery that I can use on this aircraft. Now, on my 550 that, that was the aircraft that I meant to use this battery. Uh, that one I could get, you know, like 8400s and get like 50 minutes of flying time on my 550. And with this one get, you know, 20 minutes. But I cannot put the 8400 over here. You know, it doesn't matter how much I want to, I can't. So, I mean, it sucks. I wish I could because, uh, like I say, it's too much money. You know, the 8400 I could get them for like between 70 to 100 dollars each so for why I pay for this battery if I get like 8400 from Hobby King I could get probably like uh, you know almost four of them or if I get the 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 Traxxas one I could get two of them you know the Traxxas is more expensive the Traxxas costs like 200, 200 uh, uh, 120 dollars the 8400 the CP from Hobby King they are cheaper you know, so I will have to somehow modify, try to use the battery mount that was designed for the 650 uh, Scorpion. That's the brother of this aircraft, and you stop try to adapt the battery mount over there. So what it's going to do is it's going to sit the battery lower, and the landing gear is not going to be on the way, so I can put any battery in there. Because as you can see, this battery is not mounted, you know, in a flat position. It's mounted like uh, on, on his side. And while I normally mount this battery on my 550, 
It's Mount Flat. It's no mountain inside the way it's mounted here. I mean, it's not like it's a big deal. I mean, if I had to buy two more of these batteries, I'll buy. You know, it's just that uh, I got all the projects that I want to deal with. Yeah, I need to buy more batteries my my, my other aircraft too. Because I sold a lot of aircraft and I got rid of a lot of the old batteries that I have, that I had before, you know. So pretty much that's the biggest criticism that I got about this aircraft is the, the battery mounting position. I mean, it's just uh, ridiculous, you know, I don't, I'm not really pleased with that. And right now, over 50 minutes of flying time, so that's doing pretty good. I guess after that little bit of toilet board effect that I did, you know, it's just self-corrected and everything. Now it's just working fine. It's just pretty much staying there. It's not doing the toilet board anymore. All he's doing is just fighting the gravity a little bit. One thing that I advise for people that got this air get this aircraft, you know, put this, uh, you know, pipe uh, insulation that you can get on Home Leap, Home Leap or Lowe's or any. A Howard store and put on the landing gears because in my opinion the weakest link of this aircraft is the landing gears uh, that's my biggest complaint I don't feel that they are that strong for the size of the aircraft and you know at least this thing you know, helps you get you know a better footing you know when you land and also it, it would give you also like I said it will give you like a smoother landing as hell it, it will help you you know land smoother because you know it's soft so that way the landing gears don't have to you know itself you know the the skids they don't have to get in contact directly with the ground and you know get messed up you know broken or anything okay i'm right now on 70 minutes so <laughs> so far so good That's something I'd really advise for anybody that wants to, you know, build this type of aircraft. I really love it. I, when I saw it, you know, like a few years ago, I really fell in love with it. But I was dealing with all the projects, you know, so I never got to build one. And it was always my dream to have an aircraft with eight motors. You know, everybody out, get, out there like me got six motors and four motors. But I was really curious about, you know, flying something with eight motors. So I had, you know, on my mind, you know, for a long time to build an optocopter. But the problem is that I don't have a station wagon or a van. I got a car. So an optocopter wouldn't fit on my car. It's too much weight. I mean, it's too much, it's too big. You know, an optocopter normally is going to be, it's not the weight, but the, the size. An optocopter is going to be probably like, you know, like a 700 and up, maybe 800. So they are too freaking large, you know. So, you know what, I don't really care. This one is not a real optocopter, but I got eight motors, so the good thing is I got redundancy. So if any of the motors fail or ESCs or whatever, he's gonna keep flying. You know, and that's some, that's a nice feature that you get with aircraft that they have, you know, eight motors. Uh, right now, I'm about to uh, reach 90 minutes of flying time, and I'm impressed. Uh, I mean, this aircraft right now, even without the FPV equipment, is heavier right now than my F550. My F550 weights with all the FPV equipment, like around 23, uh, 2300 grams. And this one weighs almost 2,500 grams. This one weighs, you know, you know, over five pounds, as is with all FPV equipment. And it's giving me, it's about to reach the same flying time that I, I accomplish the same flying time that I do with my F550 with all the FPV equipment installed. And it's heavier, this aircraft is heavier. I guess, you know, having a motors the A motors that I got with the props that I got is like a more efficient way of flying than having the hexacopter. I heard a lot of people saying that 
when you fly, you know, co uh, aircraft with coaxial motors, you know, like a one in the top and another one in the motor, like a Y6 or X8, uh, supposedly the aircraft's not going to be that efficient. It's not. It's going to consume more power. Uh, I saw a video from um, Roswell flight test. It's an old video uh, of the Raven RQ1. They had a version first that it was like a Y6, and then they changed it into a hexacopter. And they saying that it was a more efficient way to fly as a hexacopter rather than a Y6. But I mean, I don't know if with the XA it's going to be the same story. Right now, I went over 20 minutes of flying time and I got 10.4 volts on the battery. So the LiPo alarm on this aircraft is supposed to go off when I reach 10.2 volts. And that's going to be time for me to land. Now, I'm just going to give it a little bit of throttle and see yeah now the battery is so low that if I give a lot of throttle the aircraft is gonna draw so much current that the light pole arm is gonna go off so let me just keep it close to the ground and close to the landing pad because it's gonna be time for me soon it's gonna be time soon for me to to land it got 10.3 volts right now and I got 21 minutes of flying time I guess when I add all the FPV equipment I should the aircraft is gonna gain probably like 300 grams more of weight uh, so with those 300 grams I might lose like three four more minutes of flying time so probably I'm gonna adjust the timer to go off when it reached, you know, like 15 minutes. So and that way I will get probably like three or four more minutes of uh, spare time. I just reached 22 minutes of flying time. Yeah, I got 10.3 volts. Okay, my pole arm is about to go off. So I'd rather just land it. amazing so I did 22 minutes and 28 seconds with this monster on 3s no need for 4s over here it's really good the, the landing gear is holding well apparently you know those uh, the insulation that I put over there the pipe insulation is doing its job perfectly uh, the motors let me check if they are warm or not Oh, these motors are cold. I mean, you guys see the snow over the place, but it's not that cold today. That's why I'm flying this aircraft today. All the snow that we got here is because we had, you know, like a lot of snow during this winter over here. It was like every week we were getting, you know, like eight inches of snow. And that was getting on top of the snow that we already had and more and more snow. So that's why, you know, even if it's warm today, today's like 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And, and, and this snow is gonna, still going to take a long time to 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 melt so i mean it's it's good you know and and happy you know that you know even if the world's warming everything you know and this aircraft mostly why did is you know hovering with it all the motors all of them are cold they haven't broke a sweat it's like i didn't even flew this aircraft so that's really cool okay so uh that's the end of the video uh, if you guys got any questions uh, about this aircraft, uh, please just leave it in the comment section below and please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. Bye.